Over 80% of the tribal farmers in these villages are small holders and extremely poor. Koraput is a notorious hunger spot in India. No new agricultural technology had visited the farmers here. Their marginal farming with 14 in finger and little millets land raises hardly provided 500 to 600 kg yield per hectare. Their traditional farming practice has only two events. Broadcast sowing using high seed rate and harvesting. No soil nutrient is applied. The crop either fails or gives very low yield. The project through participatory crop management practices influenced in increasing productivity. Farmers were taught on application of soil nutrients, seed selection and use of quality seed. They were also influenced to change to row planting from broadcast sowing, follow improved intercrop system and use mechanical tools for intercultivation. The yield increase achieved was up to 60%. Another good example of neglect of these millets in R&D is the absence of appropriate technology for processing these grains, while women face high drudgery with traditional grain threshing and processing practices. Threshing is done by beating the panicle or trampling by animals. The grain is then manually cleaned to remove husk and glooms. Finger millet is consumed after grinding the grain to flour in manually operated stone grinders. Other millets with hard seed coat requires tedious and long dehulling with mortar and pestle. High drudgery faced by women in processing these grains is another major reason for its decreased cultivation and consumption while the government is providing easy access to rice and wheat at cheap prices. The changing rural family structure and the multiple roles that the farm women have to perform also have encouraged her to go for grains requiring no drudgery in processing. Therefore, easy access to simple mechanical grain processing assumed importance in the revival of these food crops. The project intervention in the innovation and introduction of such grain processing machines immensely contributed to the revival of interest of women in these millets to improve the household nutrition and opening new opportunity to build value chain on these grains. The project provided seven mechanical destoners and 12 grain mills to as many women SHGs. They were also trained in operating and maintaining these machines. This facility liberated women from their drudgery in processing nutritious millets, promoted their increased consumption and production. The mechanical processing also encouraged women to join the project initiatives on village-based value addition, product making and marketing to enhance their income and employment. Take the case of Yalamma from Jekankati. She is a member of the local SHG that got trained in millet value addition. She runs a small food and commodity retail shop. She started making and selling millet value-added products like paddu and chakli. On every Monday, she supplies paddu to customers. She also takes orders for bulk supply of chakli. This has substantially added to her income. Increased production and creation of village processing units have promoted increased house consumption of these grains, leading to better nutritional benefits to the farm families. Overriding the food, nutritional and income benefits, the new learning experience gained from capacity building and the process of commercialization of value-added products imparted huge confidence, increased social status and self-esteem to these farm women. This change is bringing out leaders in local women-related affairs and entrepreneurship. Therefore, promotion of cultivation, consumption, and commercialization of these neglected and underutilized crops strengthen the cultural identity of local communities together with improved food and nutritional security, income generation and enhanced social status to women. This also made commendable contribution to the conservation of genetic resources and enlarging the regional food diversity. This has helped in influencing national policies and mainstreaming these crops in national agenda. 
These promotional efforts have potential benefits to the global community in addressing hidden hunger and deploying the climate resilience traits of these crops.